with joy. The thing we cut off. It's true. But God will set you free today. Amen. Amen. God will set you free. Amen. Amen. The good news is that God says, I should tell all of you here that any power that is fighting you, whatever that I have done against you, right here, that thing will aspire. Amen. Amen. We aspire. Amen. It doesn't matter where they did it or how long the thing has been existing. But it says, I should tell you that whatever that I have done, it aspire today. Amen. Amen. He's a great God. He's a great God. He's a great God. All I know, all I know, He's a great God. A great God. He's a great I know He's a great God. A great God. He's a great God. All I know. All I know. seeing yourself preaching in the dream, doing the work of God. Sometimes I forget my dreams. You forget your dream. But you, you always, there is this thing in your heart, anytime you want to go to the house of God, you want to do things for God, you always have joy in it. Yes, man of God. God wants to use you. Surrender yourself to him. Because even the way you are now, you are confused. Very confused. You don't even know whether to go right or to go left. Very true. You are confused. God wants to use you. Since when this confusion comes, since when you are not longer praying the way you used to pray. Very true. Even the way you used to go to service, you don't do anymore. Not anymore. So that is why since then now, you are confused. Because the spirit that is leading you, which is the spirit of God, left you because you separate yourself from him.
before things are moving, at least you can be able to afford whatever you need. But now, everything is red. You need to go back to God. Tell him you are sorry that you have come back home. In the name of the Lord. Tell him I am sorry I have come back home. And he will give you direction. Use Romans 8 to pray for direction. And use Romans 9 to cry for mercy. If you can do it within 21 days, there's going to be a sign of testimony. In the name of God. Things will change. Because even the way the way it is is now even for you to eat is a problem. Very true. It's a problem. All the door is closed. It becomes uh, how life it is. It becomes an error where a lifesaver begins to destroy life that is supposed to save. Does it make any sense to you? But I don't bet, man of God. Go back to him, cry for mercy, and tell him that you have come back home. He will forgive you, he will pick you, and will give you a new garment. Doors will open. Thank you, man of God. Doors will open. Expose what is supposed not to be exposed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy. The attack is over. for you. Yes, Any spirit on assignment against you and your family, God will destroy them today. Amen. I say God will destroy all of them today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because of our time, we are going to deliver us. If I lay hands on you, believe that whatever you trust God for, have deposited in you. Amen. Believe that you are coming here is not in vain. Even though I did not profess that to you, if I did not profess that to you, simply mean that God have answered your prayer. Amen. Is anyone here looking for the fruit of the womb? Fruit of the womb. Fruit of the womb. As I saw a baby boy here, I don't know who is the owner. The owner is not here, will come one day. Two years ago, I had an operation, I had a topic pregnancy. The pregnancy was in the fallopian tube. So they removed one of the tubes, so I'm remaining with one. Are you looking for a baby? Yes, a baby boy in particular. Because that is, I saw a baby boy here, that's why I'm asking who is looking for the fruit of the womb. Okay. Jesus. Baby boy. Before by 
this time next year, we will celebrate your baby boy. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The angels, the angels bow before Him and worship and adore Him. What a mighty God. challenges, too much problem. True. If you can walk, make yourself as a worker in the house of God, then God will begin to work for you. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm, I understand. Clearly understand. Are you a member here? No, it's for the second time. Okay. I don't know any church you attend, but be a worker in the house of God. Yes. Then when you, if you start to walk in the house of God, you will now remind God, I have started your work, come and start my own. Because the battle that you are fighting, there is no, before you can be able to pray to win the battle, it will be difficult. But your service will provoke God to fight the battle on your behalf. Amen. You understand? I understand. What, the, what you cannot fight, the battle you cannot win, your service to God can win the battle for you. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? 
look for a department, any department you know that you can work. Go and start to work for God. And God will start your own. Amen. Amen. Because for now, everything is down. True. Even though they're supposed to help you, they're even the one fighting you. Every door is closed. Even the way you are now, you are even confused. You don't even know what to do anymore. Because you have done what you know to do best. Yet, there is no result. Amen. Start rendering service to God. Then God will start servicing your life. Many don't know. Any time you are rendering service to God, if you are rendering the service to God genuinely, there is no devil that can defeat you. Amen. Unless you are doing eye service. If you are rendering service to God genuinely from, your, from the bottom of your heart, no matter how the case may be, God don't need your prayer to save you. He need your service to save you. Hallelujah. He will not save you because of your prayer, because of your fasting. He will save you because of the work you are doing for him. Amen. That's what many people don't know. That's why some like to do what they call hide inside the service. You forget that you are not doing it for any man. You are doing it for God. There is some blessing that you, your prayer cannot give to you. Your fasting cannot give to you. But your service in God's vineyard can give it to you. You don't know. If I did not test it, I would have been telling you, I know. There was always a time in a, in, a, in a mass life where you get to a place, a point whereby you don't know where to do anymore. You stand by the word of God and tell him, will you allow my labor in your vineyard to be in vain? You challenge God by the work you have done for him. That is if you are doing it genuinely. So brother, that is where your breakthrough lies. If you can do it faithfully, challenges may come People may, devil may send his people to attack you. Don't look at anybody. Look at God and your destiny. Amen. Amen. I pray for you. You will not miss your divine helper. Amen. I pray for you. Your service to God will not be rejected. Amen. going to deliver because of those that are going to work. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I want you to open your mouth before I lay hands on you. Lord, tell him what you want to you want him to do for you after your deliverance. Open your mouth. Tell him, Lord, this is what I want. Before by this time next week, this is what I want you to do for me. Deliver me now and give me this gift. Open your mouth and talk to him. Open your mouth and talk to him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Choir. You are great, yes, you are. Holy one. You walked upon the sea and raised the dead. Great in majesty, mighty God. Everything within about you is great. 
I pray for you. Lay your hands on that screen now. Whatever be your challenges, your problem, your affliction, I declare by the name of Jesus, I declare you are free. I declare you are free. Distance is not a barrier. Wherever you are watching me from, all over the world, whatever be your challenges, there is no crisis that is greater than Christ. By the power in the name of Jesus, I declare you are free. You are free from that challenge. You are free from that property. You are free from that sickness. You are free from that disappointment. You are free from that struggle. You are free from that affliction. I declare you are free. And I declare the blessings of God over your life in this week in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you are trusting God for before the end of this week, yes, God we visit you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I am inviting you Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come and celebrate with us our 70th anniversary. Wherever you are all over the world, I'm inviting you. Come and be our guest. There is special blessing that God has prepared for special people like you. Yes. Come and collect your own share. I'm inviting you. Come and be our guest. Don't miss it. You can't afford to miss this glorious day. Friday and Saturday and Sunday. I'm inviting you, come and be our guest. And as you come, whatever you trust God for, if only you can manage to step your feet in this mercy land, God will give it to you.